Hello, my fellow geeks. I'm Mark, and today on Elite Geek, we're going to try and answer the question of what resin printers are worth buying in the fall slash winter of 2020. The game just changed, and I keep seeing the same question over and over. You're going to see that as a trend on the channel. I'm just trying to make it easier to answer people's questions without typing so much. There are a lot of resin printers out there, multiple generations of resin printers out there. So, but right now, I think it's down to six options, maybe, maybe seven, but really we're in a whole new generation of printers. And I think there's six you should really look at, and it comes down to your budget and kind of your brand preference. So let's take a look at first the budget printers. Okay, so here's the first one. This is the first one I ever bought. It's the Anycubic Photon Mono. Now, when I say budget printers, everybody has a different budget, but there's kind of two classes of printers. There's a standard class, and there's the new big printers. So we're going to look at the standard ones first. This is the Anacubic Photon Mono. Pay no attention to the prices that you see on this video. These are good today, and this is right before Black Friday. We're right out a week away. Depending on when you see this, prices will change a lot. So they're, we'll talk about pricing a little bit. So the Anacubic brand has been around and has been very well known for the Anacubic Photon printers. It's definitely one of, if not the biggest brand of printers. One of the reasons I chose this printer was because of the large support community on Reddit and Facebook. So I'll show you some pictures here of how big the build plate is. Technical build volume is 133 millimeters by 88 millimeters by 165. These all three of these are going to be about the same. Now when I say there's three on this scale that you should look at now. It's This mono is the key portion that we're looking for here. The previous generations of resin printers used basically iPad screens or Android screens more likely. They use the same screens to print that come on a tablet. With this latest generation, they've changed that. And with the mono printing, it's not a three color LCD. It's a single color LCD. Here's part of the reason it should be really nice. It should last four times longer than the previous generations of screens. The other huge advantage to that is it also lets it print like four times faster. Now, the combined speed isn't four times faster, but the exposure time, how long the plate has to stay in place before it moves on to the next layer is about... A, a third, you know, even a quarter of what it used to be. And it's even less than they were saying it was going to be. I started at two seconds the default. I'm down to 1.2 seconds per layer. The lift speed's still the same as the old printers and, and other things are still about the same. But this does drastically increase the speed and how long it should last. So while we're on any cubic site, I'm going to show you the one where I said maybe seven. I'm going to show you the one other option. That, that one's 146. I said ignore prices, but we've got one other option here, the Photon Zero. I, I really wouldn't recommend it, but it's so cheap. I mean, it's so cheap. It, you're, you're probably going to pay for it in the long run. You're going to end up upgrading to something else sooner than you will with a mono. But it's so cheap at $139. At $215 and 219 no, not even not a chance. But if you can get a Black Friday deal for $139, oh my gosh, that's so cheap. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is the Elegu Mars 2 Pro Mono. This is the second in the 2K mono LCD size. It's pretty much the same size, 6.08 inches. We're talking millimeters difference in the build plates between the three of these that we're going to look at. 129, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Photon. Anycubic also has a pretty good support network. They're very well known for their water washable resins. That's one of them that I'll be testing in the 10 resin water washable shootout here coming very soon. It's a mono, so the print speed is going to be about the same. I don't think the Elegu, honestly, this is of the three, the one I know the least about. I don't have this one. I don't plan on getting this one. So it's the one I know the least about. But if you can get it and you need it quickly, it might be one of the good options because it's been around the longest. You can get this one on Amazon and I've got links for where you can get all of these down below. It says sold out here right now, but I did see it on Amazon earlier today. It might be available on AliExpress. I haven't looked there, so I, I try and make it easy. I've got links for everything down below with all the places I know you can get these things. But I think it's probably the most likely one you can get today before Christmas. 
if it's past that time, it, it probably doesn't matter, and hopefully they'll all be very available in the near future. One thing that people like about this is it has an air purifier built in. It has a fan and a, a charcoal filter built into it. I've kind of taken another route for that, and I just buy resins now that don't smell. So that'll also come up. That's part of the reason I went to the water washable resins, and that's one of my main criteria in choosing for my comparison. But if you do need to print in something that does smell, Elegoo Mars, or you're very, very, very sensitive to it, the Elegoo Mars with the air purifier might be the best option for that now. And then the third one is a little bit different. It's a little more expensive, and it's probably going to remain a little more expensive. But the difference here is this is a 4K screen. Let's find the specs. So the build volume, oddly, is in inches. Um, I'm, I'm an American, but these should be metric, sorry. It's a mono screen, so the print time is going to be about the same. The layer thickness capabilities are about the same. The difference is this screen is 4K. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. It's a 4K 6.1. It's a tiny, tiny bit bigger, but it makes it a higher resolution screen. Here they kind of list it right on theirs. So prints at 35 micrometers. So that's the size of the pixel. How That's how big a pixel is, 722 pixels per inch. So 35 micrometers. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there because it's the first time I say it and I say it a lot and it's driving me crazy while I'm editing this. So a micrometer is one thousandth of a millimeter. It's the same thing as a micron. Most people call these microns. I call these microns. I'm pretty sure later in the video, the little part that I'm not yet to, I start calling them microns. But I call it micrometers for quite a while here, and it's kind of driving me crazy. So I wanted to just point this out, that they are the same thing. If you hear them referred to, a micrometer or a micron, it's, it's the same thing. For a single pixel, by comparison, the Photon Mono and the Elegoo Mars are about 50 micrometers each. So there's definitely a difference there. And in the prints that you see, um, it is possibly noticeable. We're talking so small at this point, so, so tiny, that it's it's not indistinguishable. I have one of these on the way. I don't have this yet, so I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with them when it comes. And then we can compare and look at them, and I'll link to that video if it's out when it shows up so you can see them side by side. But for now, you'll just have to take my word for it. If you need the highest quality resin printer you can buy at an affordable price, this is it. As I said, I have the Photon Mono now and I'm thrilled with the quality of it, but this is a little bit better. The downside of the Frozen is probably it's it has the smallest support base. It's not as popular it's not as well known. This specific model is becoming very well known. It's becoming very popular because it's the highest quality one. But the support groups out there just aren't quite the same as what you have with the other two. And it is more expensive. Oh, and yeah, and right now you have to pay for shipping, so it's even more. So it's, it's noticeably more expensive for a little bit better quality, but that's up to you to decide what the best option for you is. Okay, so as I mentioned, the Photon, the Elegoo, and the Frozen are all pretty much the same build plate size. They're all six inches. So the next three options we're gonna look at are from the same brands, and they are just bigger. So this is the Anycubic Photon Mono X. I have this in the next room uh, waiting to be unboxed. It came today. And here's the big difference. These are all about nine inch build plates. It's weird, they call them all diagonal, nine inch, 8.9 inch, but then the actual build volume when measured is all in millimeters. And we're gonna find that consistently through most of them. Now this is a 4K screen. So what happens is when you have a bigger screen that's 4K, it's also about 50 micrometers. It's 40 to 50. It's, it's more than the 35. So with this being a 4K instead of a 2K, it's about the same equivalent resolution as the smaller unit. This is also a mono printer, so it retains that same requirement as far as I'm concerned. This one does have fans in it to cool it. The standard mono doesn't. You get this one if you need to do mass volume printing or very large scale printing. This will print huge huge models soon we will have the full comparison to see them all but for the now the next option is the I'll move this over to remain consistent elegoo saturn so again this was the first of the 
4K monochrome big screen. Let's see how big the screen is. Yep, pretty much the same as the uh, Photon. These printers are about three times the size of these smaller printers. It's not exact, but they're about three times the size of what you have with the standard size printers that I showed earlier. So this sold at for $500 on a pre-order. They sold out. We don't know exactly how much it's going to end up costing uh, when it's available. So I'll link it below. But today I couldn't even order one to try and get one. The pre-orders of this were very popular because it was the first of these large scale 4K printers. Everything I said about Elegoo earlier is still true for this. I do know some people have been having issues. These larger scale printers are brand new across the board. So everyone's still learning. Everyone's still figuring them out. They're a little more problematic. I know some people have had some problems with the Saturn. Some people have had some problems with the Mono X. For the third one, nobody knows yet. It's the Sonic Mighty 4K, which it's the frozen 4K version. This is a little bit bigger. This one says it's 9.3 inches, so 8.9 versus 9.4, that actually adds up. So here, 52 micrometers gives you a sense of scale for, now we have a 4K printer, a little bit bigger than the others, and it's 52 microns. So by comparison, this would need to be like an 8K screen at this size to compare with the mini 4K. We just have a smaller screen, but it's still 4K, so it's 35 micrometers. So you're gonna get less detail out of the mighty than the mini but this one is available for pre-order and looks really good for the price for the price i don't know i've got it i ordered one it'll be here in a month so we will definitely have a review of this model when it comes one thing to note here they also have a bundle going which it looks pretty good this is actually what i ordered so it comes with the mighty and a bottle of resin and their curing station which when that comes here i'm going to do a full curing station roundup I like the idea of this curing station because it has lights on the top and the side. So I'm really eager to see what that looks like when it comes. So there we go. Six, maybe seven options I think you should look at if you're going to buy a resin printer in the fall slash winter slash Christmas of 2020. We have the Photon Mono, the Elegoo Mars, the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K as the uh, standard sizes, and then the Photon Mono X, the Saturn, and the Mighty 4K for the large scale. If you want a small one right now, there are multiple options available on Amazon with links down below. If you want, you can get the Mono 4K, and if you order today, right as soon as you're seeing this, the Mighty 4K, uh, this one should show up right now it says uh it says it should ship right before christmas i guess we'll see so the post i saw today specifically said i have 500 dollars to spend what should i buy so they're definitely in the realm of these smaller printers while this printer is under 500 dollars um, that does it includes one bottle of resin you need other stuff one of the things you might want to look at is if you buy this mighty bundle like i did so it comes with that one is a wash and cure station so i've got two of them here that i'll show actually make that three well one of them i've already shown the mighty one that's the big one it's gonna be huge this is the one i currently use the any cubic wash and cure station which is nice because it comes with your bucket that you wash your model and i just use water for it because i use all water washable resins now and then you take this out you put the build plate on not the build plate there the build plate there and then it cures it. So if you're brand, brand new at this, you have to cure the model after you print it. It just kind of finishes off the resin so it's not tacky. It makes it safe to handle. This Anycubic one is really cheap right now because they have a new one coming out. They're going to make a big one like the Mighty or whatever they call that one. The Luna, I think they call it. They're going to make a big one. And then there's a Wash and Cure Machine 2 coming. But really, it's just a little bit better light design for the price of this one. It's a steal right now. You also, Elegoo makes one that looks more honestly like the Anycubic Wash and Cure 2. I don't know anybody who has used this, so I can't state its quality at all. But if you get the Elegoo, um, if you want to be brand loyal, there's there's really nothing wrong with that. The one thing I saw is it's easier to tell at a glance on the Anycubic if you have it set to wash 
versus cure it's right there on a light uh, on the mercury the elegu there's it says on here so it's a little bit harder to tell but I, like i said i don't have this one but anyway if you've got money burning a hole in your pocket and you are ready for resin printing these are the options that i think are the best options to look at none of the others are worth it at this point for the price difference the mono is just so much better so much better you should go with the mono except for maybe that one dirt cheap black friday deal but i i, I wouldn't recommend it that that's if you say I have a $200 budget and I'm going to wash everything by hand. Yeah, you can get started for $200 right there. Uh, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know. Anyway, so if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think the best options are here. Or did I miss any? These are the ones I see everybody talk about over and over and over. I know there are some others. Nova makes one. Um, all 3D makes one, but I think you should stick with one of these brands. Just my opinion, but that's what you're going to get on Elite Geek. And until next time, remember, if you're going to be a geek, be an Elite Geek.